Hi, welcome to Classic Car Cave. So, uh, this, will, this one will be on the XK150, which you can see I'm here at the moment. Um, what I want to do is I want to ask anybody out there that either has done an XK150, um, either restored one or repaired one, or knows somebody who has one, or has had some involvement, or certainly knows where I can find the information about um, the fact that this car uh, has not got the original MOS box in it, it's got this T5, this Trimac T5 box in it. Now I have a company called John, John Skinner, this, the son Jonathan Skinner now runs the business, but it's still called John Skinner. They've done the interior for my E-Type and I'm using them again and they're building the interior for this. Now, if there's anybody out there that knows if this Trimac box is exactly the same for the carpeting over the tunnel that the moss box is now this handle obviously is in a different direction which but it can be turned the other way so it goes back like it does in a normal moss box so there's anybody out there that's got information it looks to me i've taken some pictures from an original moss box and apart from this little piece here sticking up around about two or three centimeters higher i don't see any difference so if anybody knows that you can definitely just use the original carpet, I would have thought that this being a conversion, uh, you wouldn't have to change the carpet, but I don't know if that's a fact or not. So I'll just take this cover off. And the position that this is in is approximately what it is with a moss box. Um, taking take it in, everything into account, this is about the same level uh, for the gears. And you can see there's no problem with the gears at all. You can still get into them. So, if, as I said, if there's anybody out there who could give me some information and let me know if the boxes are exactly the same, because uh, I don't. Uh, it, it might mean we have to adapt the carpet, or certainly um, the gear stick, um, the fob that goes around the gear stick or the shroud, whatever you want to call it. Um, so it's quite important. Anyway, you can see the rest of the video, I hope you enjoy it, and uh, I'll catch you in the next one. So I've got a delivery uh, today from SNG Barrett in Holland, um, and, and I'm using uh, as many European people as I can because of this nonsense with Brexit. Uh, every time you get anything from the UK you have to pay customs on it, and they send you an email and you have to pay the customs first before they'll deliver it, and if you don't, send it within a certain amount of time, they'll send it back to the UK, which has happened already. Uh, it's a real pain, uh, but hey, you know, it's self-inflicted, what can you say? People are stupid enough to think that it was the right thing to do, well... Anyway, um, so what it was is, is I had to order up some door locks, so... Unfortunately, I actually thought they were chrome, but they're not, they're just galvanised. Um, but they're in much better conditions than what I had. So I kind of went for it and I bought some new chrome bits and pieces. So what I can do then is start getting these door locks into place um, and a few other bits and pieces. There's a part here for the petrol cap, which is quite strange in, in the XK. It, um, it comes as part of the lid. So on a normal car you would open the lid and you would take the fuel cap off. In this particular case, the cap is sprung loaded with a with a seal on it and as you push the lid back down it seals off the top of the tank which is good because it saves you losing the i'm sure there's plenty of people before the four lockable ones came i'm pretty sure there's plenty of people put them on the side and drove away without them anyway um and it's only certainly one a scutch in for the wipers which i don't understand maybe they didn't have anything else to stop so that's what we're up to so it's, uh, it's been a bit, it's a bit worn, but see how battered it is on the end there. Uh, the one on the left is the old one. I'll turn it over the other way. You can really see, see the difference there. So yeah, um, they were around about uh, 35, 40 pounds I think. But uh, you can see there's some damage on this one already. So that's what we've done, I'm going for new ones. And same, these were a bit cheaper. This probably could have been done up, but uh, mate, the galvy probably would have come off them, so I've ended up uh, going for brand new ones. So that would be a, a set, and so on. And this is 
these are the two old ones and then for the other side of the door we've got the same thing and you can see how they spring into the center so there we go we'll get them put on I've been in touch with a company in the U called the Better Lighting Company. It's a guy called Gil Keen that runs it. Very, very nice guy. Extremely helpful, very good advice. He sent me all the information I needed. Um, and I, he even sent me stuff on uh, for, to make the, the headlights on the E-Type better because they're just a standard headlight. We rarely, rarely use the car at night, but the headlights are really piss poor um, on, on the, the original ones on the, on the E-Type. I mean, the, the, the glass covered, although it looks beautiful and sexy on the E-Type, it does detract from the light coming out of them very badly. But you can, he, he has a, a LED system which you can put in it. And they even have also have it for minis, to upgrade minis. So um, I'll, I'll put up the name. So it's, um, yeah, so it's the Better Lighting Company. I'm not being sponsored, obviously, by this, but when the stuff comes, I'll put it on and review it and show you. But the one thing that, led me to this company, uh, this better lighting company, was my car is a 58 and I said I think it's 191st built, Roadster that is, and the rear lights, these are brand spanking new, again they're cheaper to buy than it is to have them re-chromed and the lenses are buggered normally anyway. So as you can see with these, they're um, completely red, so your stop and indicator are both red like they are in America because predominantly these Jaguars went to the American market. for the, They were after the US dollar in the 60s, the late 50s and 60s. And obviously not having an orange indicator could be a problem here. They can insist, even though the car didn't come with it, they can insist that you put orange indicators onto the bumpers or somewhere on the car, which will detract. So this uh, Gil Keen has come up with this brilliant idea. And what it is, is there's a component that goes inside here and when the lens is put on there's an LED bulb which uh, um, actually makes the indicator part of it, it there's, a, there's a piece that goes in here and changes it from the stop and tail light and instead of one light flashing um, you've got the stop the tail light and you've got an indicator but it glows through the red lens orange so it looks like an indicator, even though they are red. So you keep the originality of the car, or the originality of how it was, um, but you end up with an orange indicator flashing. And of course, the ones on the front are orange anyway. And and uh, this this kit, I, I believe, is around, um, I think it's, uh, I, I've ended up with three things. I think the, the kit's 199, it's 200 pounds for the two lights. And there are many, <coughs> quite a few modifications you can get for XKs. And the three I've gone with is the LED headlight bulbs, because I have the J lights, and um, they're, um, they're a connection that you can put in. If they're sealed beams, you're buggered. You, you, you really can't do anything else but buy uh, lamps where you can put bulbs in them. So the LED lights in the front, there'll be LED in the back, and the other thing I'm doing is getting LED bulbs for the dashboard, which are the same connection, the same beta connection, but obviously much, much uh, brighter, and they are dimmable as well, um, and they're going to be green. I particularly like the green. They've got ice blue and different, and brilliant white, and so on and so forth. But I think the green looks nice. You can see, these are the new headlight bulbs. Obviously, one's fitted on the car already, um, and this is the J, so it's the kind of J for Jaguar. Um, this is the reproduction and you can see how the bulb would fit in here and then you clip these two uh, to hold the bulb in but he's got an adapter uh, that goes into here and changes them into LED so you can see the J on the front and then the nice chrome ring on it and as I say I've got new headlight bulbs in fact everything's new electrically because uh, it's just you know the car is 1958 it isn't worth messing around and getting some problem with the shortage in the wire or, or electrical fire or whatever. So that's what how they will look and they will be LED. So the actual uh, transformation of the lights is massive. So I've put, I've put the second light fitting in just to check everything's okay. We obviously pre-put these in before we did, before we finished up the bodywork to make sure they were okay. Uh, what we didn't do was get everything lined up. So we didn't get this 
a scutch in here and this one here completely lined up because there is some wiggle room um, and you can see actually how this goes on so this is one without the uh, you can see there this is the top uh, chrome this is where let's put this down where that's where this lines up there you can see with the two screws there and that basically has to line up with that so it should line up perfectly there and there now I check this side and this side looks like it's it's it was over it was over here and it's slightly out at an angle like that so I think that's this side because we did get them as trying to square up as possible and it should look straight in line like that I don't know if that's showing so we'll put the other one on and hopefully when we put this one together we'll be in the same situation and these are the screws for the underneath piece this is this bezel here and you can see also there's no room there's not, not a lot of movement there so I'm just hoping that that's going to work and it'll be okay um, all the lights have to come back out again because obviously I'm waiting now for uh, the, the stuff from Better Lighting Company uh, so we can put the bulbs and the cables and the wiring into these but I don't know what the kits look like exactly and I'm hoping there'll be some some paperwork there that I can play with as well and the same thing with the lights here I've got to I'll show you here I've got to take this light apart excuse me there we go so I've got to take this light apart uh, to put in whatever the adapter is inside it as you can see so I don't want to go screwing it on and putting the gaskets on if um, if you've got to do some adaptation in here which I think we do hopefully they'll be here on Monday if I don't have to mess around with customs and then we can get them on and get all the back uh, chrome on as well 